Hello there! Today we are going to have a very quick tutorial to check how we deal with kerning in cavalry. Stay there because this is very very important. Kinetic type series by Hulk79. So let's go for this. We have this beautiful text set on Noi Hasgrotesk Display Pro. This is the 55 Roman. So yeah, this is the same as saying Helvetica. So uh, you know that we can deal with the tracking here. It is called character spacing. We can close it or open it. Let's close it like to have it very tight. Okay, so that some of the glyphs or the letters are touching. This is not looking very nice here between the R and the and the Y. So let's go and add some nice kerning uh, to this pair of letters because, as you possibly know, kerning is the separation between specific pair of letters. For example, between this A and the L, the R and the Y, or the N and the G. So. We need to go here at the style behaviors and it goes as apl apply character spacing. I'm going to put it inside this layer so that it is all more organized. And I'm going to rename this if I select uh, the thing and click enter, I can rename it. So this is going to be RY. And it is as simple as here in match string. We need to write down the pair of letters that we want to apply the kerning to. And then we can just deal with that. So the character spacing here for this specific pair of letters, that's kerning, it's going to overwrite uh, the overall tracking that we have set here in the character spacing. So that's the thing, okay? So in a way, it is as, you know, you can make any change here, but this pair of letters is going to be always like working from this parameter here. So let's click here again. So let's say that I want to apply another kerning uh, like adjustment let's say for the N and the G for example so I go here and again at the bottom we have the style behaviors and I can add another character spacing okay so I'm going to place it beneath or inside this other layer and hitting enter I'm going to call it NG so that everything is organized and tidy here so if I click twice uh, I can change in match string this from VA which is like the by default setting to NG and then yeah I can just adjust that kerning there between the N and the G so very different uh, if you think uh, about how this works for example in After Effects or in other Adobe uh, softwares, but I kind of love this, you know, like you can apply like a specific kerning to any pair of letters and you can store them here. So the way I work normally in Cavalry is I set the tracking here in character spacing, which is like the overall uh, spacing of all the letters. Okay, you can even like select here some specific letters let's say the these four letters there and if you start dealing with the tracking or the character spacing you are going to be affecting only those so that's another way to do it maybe like okay the c and the a i want to tighten them and i can select them here and i can close it a little bit but yeah it's affecting also the v so what I love about this way of working is that I store the adjustments here and I can see them and I can collapse these 
so that everything is more uh, collected and tidy. So I hope you you found this useful, very simple thing, but yeah, always good to have your letters looking good in terms of tracking and kerning. So thanks for watching this and see you in the next one. Kinetic Type Series by Hulk79.